Hi guys, today I thought we'd make something like this. Now this I got for Christmas and it's a miniature, you can see how small it is, look in my hand, a miniature concertina sketchbook. The one I've done is full of little collages but you can do anything you like and it opens up, if you turn it around, there you go, you've got another on the back. So the first thing that we're going to do is to get some card. Now this is just um, cartridge card, but you can use watercolour paper too, that would be lovely. You need quite a big size because you, if you want to go this length, can you see, you'd need it to be about that long. Can you see that? Let me turn it around. Now you can make a shorter one. Here's one I made with watercolour paper. That's a shorter one, that's fine. Doesn't have to be as long as as long as this one. Okay, it's just what you've got really, so don't worry about that. So the first thing we're going to do is to measure, now I've done five centimetres, so use your ruler, which is a bit of an old ruler, this one here, and measure five centimetres along on a piece of card. And I'm going to cut a strip out, so I would just, just put a dot where five is here and a dot where five is there. And then I'd put one in the middle so you can join it up. There's a five centimeter there. Then all I'm going to do there is to draw a line, making sure it's straight from both edges. Okay, that's the first step. Once you've done that, you can cut using scissors. Now I've used a scalpel and a cutting mat. I would only do this if you've got an adult to hand, otherwise use scissors. And when you've done that, you can cut it out. Here's one I've cut out. Okay, and then what I've done is got the ruler and I've gone five centimetres along and made a dot every five centimetres. So you need to need five times tables. Five, 10, 15, and so on until you get to the end. Now this one had a couple of centimetres, had a centimetre or two at the end and I just cut that bit off. And then we're going to fold it and we're going to change how we fold it. So just watch what I do. Let's use the cutting mat so you can see. I folded it on this crease here where I've made that dot at five centimetres. Then I need to do it on the other side. So it's quite good if you go to the other side and make dots along there as you go. So there's five. I'm counting down in fives now. Actually, I'm going to use this ruler because that one is not very good. 20, 15, 10, 5, 10, 5. Okay, so I folded it there on the first one. I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to use my ruler alongside that dot. I'm going to fold it back and I'm going to tell you why I'm doing that. Let me just do it and make a nice crease. Use your nail to make a nice crease. Now can you see this one folds that way. I've turned it over so that this one folds the other way. So it does that. So now we're back onto this side. I don't want to draw lines so I'm hoping this is going to be okay. That to the other side. Once you get the hang of it, you'll be fine. Just take your time. I'm rushing a bit here, but you take your time. Mm. 
Okay, and then let's just check it's all worked now. You may find, like me, because I've not marked it very well. It's a bit wibbly wobbly. That's okay. Just going to press it into shape there so it's there. So once we've done that, the next thing we need is some cardboard. Now I've done one here. I've got a bit of cardboard from packaging and I'm going to, if you can see what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to stick that on there. But before I do that, I want to get something like this so I can tie my book together. Now you could get some nice ribbon, a nice bit of coloured elastic. I'm going to use an elastic band that I've just found lying around. can't get it through like I'm having trouble I don't want to make the hole too big I'm just going to push it very gently through here you need something quite thick but you also need quite a small hole to push it through so that's why I'm using this it's just a screwdriver or you can use this which is called a brad awl if your mum or dad's got one of those or somebody in the house oh it's being a bit slippery it through now you don't want too much through and then I'm going to stick that down before I do anything else and now what you're what this needs to do if you think about it it's got to go through there and then where's my next bit this is not cut to size yet and it's got to fit around here like that okay so make sure you've got enough that out and we're going to stick that down let's get some tape here's some masking tape you could use sellotape just going to fold it over like that if you've got any bits sticking out you can just cut them so with my scissors just going to cut that bit off there and I want that stuck down really well because if it's not it's just going to come back through that hole isn't it so you might need a few pieces being very particular about this because I don't want to stick it on and then your elastic comes through which will be really annoying once you've stuck it on so I'm just trying to make sure there are no loose bits okay there we go let's just do that okay all right that seems okay then we're going to get this here and stick it on here. Now if I look at my bought one, it's beautifully done with and I think this is like a linen cover. You could cover your cardboard with some paper or you could do a similar thing. Well, that's a very neat look. But today we're just going to use card. So there's the top. Make sure that hole is there at the top. And I'm going to glue that in. So I've got my glue. I'm going to glue it on my paper, so I'm just going to stick it on this paper here, get lots on, press it down. Okay, so we've got it like that, and I'm just going to stick it on there. Then I'm going to glue the back of this. Stick it down firmly. And there you go.
So for that side, I've done fingerprints and made them into funny little characters. And then for this side, I'm going to do something like this. Now this is, these are like little pots and vessels and I've done that from old collage papers that I've done for monoprints. But I thought for these ones, we'd use magazine cuttings. So all of these here are from magazines, interior magazines. Have a look, see what you've got. Old patterns are really good. Anything with patterns on, really good for what we need. Look at that. And then what I've done is I've cut out, because I want my images to go in the middle of this square, I've cut out a little template so I know how much room I've got to play with. So if you can see, I'm going to cut out a shape that will fit nicely in there. I'm going to show you what I mean. So I quite like this. So I'm going to place that over the top. And then I'm going to cut out a shape that will sit nicely in the middle of that. So let's have a go, shall we? What should we do? We could do... I'm going to continue with my vessel theme that's something I like to draw. Well, you might want to pick something else. You might think this is not what you want to do. Let's put a little there. That's very simple. And I know that will sit nicely in what I've done. Now, if I didn't want to get that black line around it, I could have cut it out on the other side of the paper and drawn it on the other side. And then I'm going to stick it there. Sometimes when you look on the other side, oh look, I quite like that. So I might leave that one on that side. Life is full of surprises. And I might put that one over there because I don't really want them too close together because I want to vary my colours. So those are quite dark colours. Let's have a think about getting something brighter. So now I've stuck them all on like this. These are my favourite ones. I think those colours work well together. I'm now going to draw over the top. 